Okay, we are at Keyhole Reservoir, and Michelle just went out and checked the access. Um, beautiful Wyoming. Got the truck mainly unpacked, uh, loading up all the equipment, and we're going to drag it out to out onto the ice. And the word is the ice is pretty thick. Access seems to be okay. See some fishermen out there. I think we'll stop by and ask them how thick it is before uh, before long. And we'll get things loaded. Golden? I think that was a yes. So how was it? Great. Great? Alright, so we're good to go. Alright, time to load. So now we have the bomb sampler. And so here we are at our hole. The challenge is uh, these multiple cords that are here. And keeping them out, uh, we haven't got the best system with that and I should probably be helping with this. <laughs> so it's being dropped and we're dropping it by this the side cord that uh, just holds the weight. So we've got again, a bunch of knots that are on there. And it's going in and then once we get to our requisite depth we pull the center piece and uh, look for bubbles. <laughs> no bubbles means uh, either no sample well, I've never seen it not bubble. It's stuck on Texas now. Yeah. <clears throat> and we drop it down into the hole some more. See, that's what it lost on too. Oops, and I think I see some bubbles. Yep. Yeah, so it's that's heavy now. Yeah, so we'll pull that one up. So, see all the bubbles coming up there? That means the whole chamber filled. And we just had some things uh, knotted in there, so we'll try it again. I think we, we just... got. I think we got it untangled now, so we'll lay it out and maybe straighten out the knots on here. <clears throat> oh, lots of bubbles going in there. So we'll try it again. And so as you can see the actuator in the looks like middle. It's not, looks like it's not sealing right now. Pull that. Oh, here, let's go. Hold on. Okay, so we'll try the bomb sampler another time. We've got pretty good ice thickness here. I'd say oh, about 15 inches. And our ATV behind me is stuck in the snow here, so we'll have to dig that out later. <clears throat> And we funnel this in up to the knot. It's hard to tell where the knot is with all the knots on the rope here. But. Here I've got the knot. Okay, so we got the knot. And here come the bubbles. At Sheridan Lake, when it was about 90 to 100 feet, it took 30 seconds to a minute for those bubbles to come up. And typically if there's no current beneath, they'll come straight up to the hole. So now we pull again on the, um, on the side one. We don't want to pull on the, on the um, middle one. Have some more bubbles coming up, so let's okay. hold off. And again, just pulling with the one rope. Then we should have about 500 milliliters mm -hmm. put inside the... Uh, Got a water sample set up. Yep. <clears throat> And if we wanted to do nutrients, we would collect another sample 
uh, with that. It's preserved with a different uh, preservative. This is, we're gonna use uh, concentrated nitric acid and go ahead and preserve it in the field. And then the last thing we do is we do a uh, DOPH um, specific conductivity uh, depth temperature profile with this cable. And we've got a YSI probe that's been calibrated uh, earlier today in this box. And so we drop that in and we measure the profiles on one meter increments all the way down. This lake's had a bit of stratification. We've got the DO down to about one uh, down towards the bottom. And so we have um, quite a bit of stratification and uh, anaerobic levels at these uh, lower depths. So that should provide some interesting data for our uh, work. All right. So yeah, we got we used a depth finder to find the depth of our water. Mm -hmm. And so then we need to. So our depth was 38.8 feet. 38.8 feet. So we need to mark off um, <clears throat> where we're gonna lower this to so we can drop it. And typically we want to drop it about 10 to 15 feet above the sediment. So at 38.8, we're gonna drop it, we're gonna measure out about 23 feet, high okay. knot, so we know where that marking is. And that includes the length of the core that's on that as well. So we get enough force, not to consolidate the sediments uh, significantly, but to get a, a representative get a, sample. Yep, so we it could, gets down in there, but like you said, it doesn't consolidate or compact it yeah. on the drop. So we just collected one, and so now we're in the process of uh, cleaning uh, right here to get uh, prepared for the next one. And so we just kind of wash the wash the, the suction device that's on the actuator that's on there, and that little piece that's hanging is the messenger that uh, that actuates the, uh, the suction. And so one thing you do not do is sample from the same uh, core, so it's the same location because uh, you would not get a representative uh, sediment sample. So that one's been disturbed, so we have uh, fortunately drilled many other holes. It's our water sample hole over there, and I think we're gonna move over to this good luck hole uh, right here, which is gonna be uh, the next sample. And so this one has a, this reservoir has a fairly high sedimentation rate apparently, and we are kind of out in the plains, and we've been getting uh, pretty full cores, about 100 centimeters, uh, the first core at the other side by the dam was 89 centimeters or thereabouts. So we've got the tube and so we've got all our uh, equipment here to uh, get prepped for it. goes in. Oh yeah. Yep. See a little water. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah, you can see the sediment water interface and in the redox zone. Uh, 
too gentle, hard. gentle, not too hard. Keep it level. Okay, ready? Yep. Good, perfect. You in? Okay, good. Good. So we have our core collected, full core, and Aaron's just taping the bottom right there. Yep. Had an interesting anomaly. Rohit, what was that down at the bottom there? That was a kind of a, a gap, gap at the gap bottom here. of the core. So I guess we'll see what happens with that when we slice it up. Might be a high solids content that's there that caused that uh, imperfection. Yeah. Labeling the top of the core, so yep. we are at... Uh, Keyhole kits, KR, is that right on oh, there? Yeah, put PR. PR. Why PR? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll go back and relabel that. So, KR, this is KR 2 1. Yep. And the sun is just breaking, coming in now. So, the clouds have broken up. Beautiful location. So, yeah, we got nothing but sunny skies now and no wind. How about that? So Michelle's wrapping up the cords. We, we just did the uh, bomb sampler, and we did the um, the YSI probe for the uh, profile of temperature, oh, DO, pH conductivity. No, don't take them out. I'll just leave them okay. there. Can't actually see it. Yeah. So this is sample uh, KR2-2, and so we've collected two cores at this site. Um, typically, for some other work that we've done, we've collected three cores. Is one is a backup. And we're going to do uh, water content, loss of ignition, carbon, nitrogen, metals with the XRF, or sending to a lab through uh, via ICPMS. I don't think we're going to do any dating on these, but if we were, we would collect an additional sample. Um, <clears throat> so we've got two cores per location. The KR is for uh, keyhole reservoir, and then the first number is for the sample location, and then the sample number too, so this will be the second of two cores that were collected here. And so we have successfully uh, completed this site, and so our next journey is all the way over there to the other side of the reservoir onto the kind of where the Belfouche River comes into this uh, area. So the snow has got uh, a lot of wind drifts, I don't know if you can see on here, but driving on this ATV it's been a little challenging on here. We haven't gotten stuck, but we've certainly bogged down. And so I think we're gonna take our whole operation here, drive back up to our vehicle, and then drive through the streets of Pinedale, uh, this nice nice place of Pinedale, Wyoming, and drive all the way across into that large area of the Belfouche, and then also take our truck instead of loading up and then unloading just a couple miles away. But I still think that'll go faster. So we'll see, and we'll check in in a bit.